my name is Devendra Pal Singh and uh, today I'm gonna work with the sequential control process. Uh, you can see that these are two double acting cylinders and uh, these is a uh, coil by two double solenoid wall and uh, these are our coils and uh, this is solenoid oil and this is solenoid B and uh, the process is that uh, as soon as cylinder A extends, cylinder B is extended and then cylinder B retracts and then cylinder A retracts also we are going to use photo sensors to detect whether uh, when, when cylinder B extends or retracts uh, this is the photo sensor A and this is photo sensor B and uh, as we supply the air and uh, uh, this is our push button start and this is our push button stop so I am going to press this push button start here and you can see that uh, none of the cylinders are moved this is because the, the cylinder A is extended at the condition when the photo sensor detects the part. So I'm gonna use this one. Move my hand here. So you, you may have noticed uh, actually the process is very fast. Uh, the process is as I explained earlier as cylinder A extends, then cylinder B is extended, then B retracts and then A is retracted. And uh, now in the second condition I'm gonna place my hand over the photo sensor B. Uh, it re restricts the function of the cylinder B and uh, if I place my hand here, uh, you can see that only cylinder A is extended. So we are going to make sure that, uh, so we confirm that uh, both of the uh, foot sensors are working. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.